All right, uh, let's continue with uh, part C. I have uh, integral x cubed uh, cosine x dx. Um, so what I'm going to do here is that probably known techniques uh, would fail except integration by parts because uh, if you go back to the acronyms that I have in the uh, in the in the previous videos, um, I have Liate, right? So I have x cubed cosine x. So x cubed is an algebraic function; it's a polynomial, and cosine x is trig. So I'm going to call. I'm going to start calling. Um, I'm going to start calling uh, x cubed uh, to be u to start with. I'm going to apply the integration by parts. Okay. So u equals x cubed and dv equals uh, cosine x dx. And you will see that I'm going to have multiple application of integration by parts here. So please uh, pay attention. Uh, and this, is, this could be like a longer video. Okay. All right. I'm going to look at du. That is 3x squared, which is the derivative of x cubed uh, dx. And here I'm going to integrate uh, cosine x. Uh, and, and that is, in fact, sine x. That's good. So uh, here we go. Uh, I'm going to write x cubed cosine x dx as u times v. All right. x cubed sine x minus v times du. All right. Uh, du equals 3 uh, x squared sine x dx. So v times du is, in a simple form, uh, is uh, 3 times x squared sine x dx. Okay. All right, so now I have another integral where I can use the liate. Why? Because I, I still have polynomial against uh, a trig function, so x squared sine x. So I'm going to use another uh, integration by parts here. But this time the polynomial is x squared. I'm going to continue with that. So I'm going to use a different color for this different integration by parts formula. So dv is going to be sine x dx. Okay. So I'm going to look at du, which is uh, 2x dx, and v to be the antiderivative of sine. That is minus cosine x. All right. So I'm going to continue here. So I'm going to put a big equality sign here. And so now I'm going to use a different color, blue color here, to write down what this integral x squared sine x dx corresponds to. So u times v minus x squared cosine x minus v du. So that's plus 2x integral cosine, well, x should be inside, obviously, right? Plus 2x cosine x dx. All right. We're not done yet because we still need to integrate x cosine x, which is still hard because you have polynomial against cosine. That's another application of integration by parts. So, so uh, first time we used integration by parts here, right? Second time it's here. So now we are doing it again, all right? So uh, by using liate, right, I'm gonna call x again to be u. Okay, so u, I'm gonna use also a different color here, okay? So u is gonna be x and then dv is gonna be cosine x. And I use brackets not to get confused because eventually I'm going to bring all together, okay? So du equals uh, dx. And then uh, v uh, is the antiderivative of, uh, I forgot the dx here, just don't forget that. Uh, v is the antiderivative of cosine x, that is sine x, okay? So all I'm going to do is to uh, replace this integral by the integration by parts formula, okay? So I'm going to do it in the next slide. So let me just copy everything down here first. All right, so I copied everything down here. So in the yellow brackets, I'm going to put uv minus v du, okay? So uh, uv is x uh, sine x. So I'm going to go ahead and put uh, x sine x here uh, minus v du, right? So let's go back here, minus v times uh, du, that is sine x dx, okay, sine x dx. All right, so now it's a big chunk of uh, stuff. And one final integration here is the integral of uh, 
uh, sine x dx. I'm going to use a different uh, color here again. So sine x, what is the antiderivative anti of sine x? That is uh, uh, negative co sine x. This is something that I don't need to use an integration by parts formula for because we uh, we have uh, the basic integration rule. We know what the antiderivative of sine x is. So let's bring everything together with the uh, one final white color. Okay, x cubed sine x minus three minus x squared cosine x. Another bracket x sine x plus cosine x. All right, x cubed sine x minus three. Let's take care of uh, the outer bracket first. So minus x squared cosine x plus x. Well, inner bracket first to to finally conclude with the outer bracket, x sine x plus cosine x, and now x cubed sine x plus three x squared cosine x minus three x sine x and minus three uh, cosine x, and then I'm going to put a generic integrating constant here, so that's going to be plus. C. I think I, I forgot to put 2 here, so let me just put this 2 back here, I'm sorry. 2, 2, and, and then uh, 6 and 6. Alright, I think that's all. Um, I think all the calculations are correct. Uh, <clears throat> please double check everything. Um, I'm going to finish this video here uh, for part D. Please move on to the next video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.